okay there are a lot of examinations and you guys are thinking that which examination should i prepare for and which, which examination i should not because there's a thought going on that uh, maybe if we prepare for all the examinations we won't be able to focus properly well that question is very legitimate but uh, there are various categories of examinations okay now when it comes to the category of examination of the top level technical examinations uh, which are national level in this country namely gate engineering services isro bark and all the psu examinations that are coming in generally the package will be somewhere around from 55000 basic pay to 60 to 70000 basic pay per month all those examinations are actually very similar and the mother of all the examination is gate examination nowadays there are very less psus coming through gate examination earlier it used to be that there are lot of uh, psus attached every year there are 10 to 12 psus attached to gate examination so gate examination became everything for a time i would say 2014 to 2017 and then everything started to bifurcate and the reason is pretty simple because gate examination was not really equipped to actually select hardcore engineers for a particular job gate examination was simply an aptitude examination which was fabricated to get people into masters that is mtech and then psu said that it is a good option for us to just take gate scores because we will not have to conduct our own examination uh, conducting an examination requires a lot of investment and time by the company so they all ongc iocl bpcl hpcl uh, bhcl everyone started to recruit through gate examination and then what happened the quality of student they were getting may not be sufficient so they started conducting their own examinations okay also the other biggest problem that happened with gate examination is one particular student or aspirant is getting four or five different psus and the psu seats are occupied and after that obviously one person can only take one psu so four seats are vacant so that was a big problem with gate examination and so now you are going to see that sale vizac nlc these are conducting their own examination but in any uh, manner uh, the level of the questions will remain similar some examinations will be having general aptitude isro bark gate will not be having general aptitude Uh, sorry not general aptitude general awareness so general awareness will not be there for isro bark and uh, uh isro bark and gate examination in drdo also so far there is no general awareness so in future also we are not expecting but psus generally will be having general awareness and that brings a different level of you have to prepare all those things as well but when it comes to bark isro and gate examination and also to some extent engineering services examination the level of questions are almost same the syllabus are similar the smallest syllabus will be that for gate examination and others are also going to be developed a little bit one chapter or one subject added over gate examination and that will be it okay but it is also suggested that if you are preparing for competitive examination then you do prepare for multiple competitive examination so what i'm trying to say is that it is not like if i want to get selected into isro i'll only prepare for isro you will have to prepare for all the examinations in that domain you understand so if exams are similar for example bark isro gate and engineering services are similar they are providing jobs of similar level and also uh, they are having similar level of questions and the syllabus is very similar then in that case it is suggested that you prepare for all of those examination because you might not be very aware of the reality but getting jobs is very difficult when it comes to government sector so it often happens that you do not get selected in the first turn and 2 to 3 years of you preparing you will not be sitting idle right so you will be needing some job or the other for example i wanted to get into isro but i did not get into isro in my first two attempts so what i did is i joined brc and continued to prepare so Also, uh, so in that case, you'll have to prepare for multiple examination. But it is again, I'm going to stress that multiple examinations of so same domain. So, for example, gate, ES, bark, and PSU examinations all will be on same same domain. But when it comes to SSC, JE, 
uh, when it comes to RRB examination, these are a level lower. Also, state examinations, these are a level lower. You can easily understand by looking at the pay matrix. So, pay matrix will be level 10 for BARC and ISRO, and it will be level 7 for SSC JE and all that. So, obviously, you can understand that. JE itself stands for junior engineer and over here you'll be coming graduate engineer trainees things like that or in ISRO you'll be joining a scientist in BARC you'll be joining a scientific officer basically meaning that if you'll be joining an organization at that level there will be no one above you at entry level you understand the boss that you will be having will also be would also have joined in your level only the only thing is that that person joined a little bit earlier than you okay so that is the highest level of requirement so if you are going to prepare for these examination prepare all the examination which are giving entry at this level so number one it is going to help each other for example people who are preparing for es examination often perform very well in isro examination because the level of questions are same and they get more practice over there they get more experience of giving more examinations so it is always helpful but yes if you're preparing for gate examination don't prepare for cat examination if you're preparing for cat examination don't also prepare for gre examination that mentality basically comes to a lot of people because they think that they will be, remain very safe by preparing if this does not happen this will happen or this does not happen that will work out what actually happens is nothing works out because you will actually require a focused preparation in any direction that you are giving attention towards okay so keep that in mind you have to prepare for multiple examinations in same domain pick your domain whatever you want okay so a lot of questions over here is coming in the government examination domain only so no worries i'm going to address those questions but if i get time i'm going to show you opportunities in other domains as well all right now the 11 questions that i've got over here uh, by the team is number one a brief overview of all the examinations and syllabus pattern 